there. It's all good in the neighborhood, although it is a very warm one. You know, February is National Heart Health Month, and one Pearland man is celebrating a new lease on life. Joining us today to share how he was able to get a handle on his obesity and diabetes and kicking the meds, we have patient Jeff Yates and his doctor, Dr. Stephen Hotze from the Hotze Health and Wellness Center International. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. And Jeff, before we get into your story, I gotta ask you, Dr. Hotze, tell me a little bit about the wellness, the Health and Wellness International Center. Well, the Health and, Hotze Health and Wellness Center is geared to helping people obtain and maintain health and wellness naturally without pharmaceutical drugs. So we use a good eating program, replenishment of natural hormones, vitamins and minerals, and a good exercise program. It's very simple, and every conventional doctor ought to be doing this, and their guests would, our patients would get well. Would you guys you know, I mean, really bucking against the grain here because, I mean, it, it's, it's, you're not prescribing meds. You're trying to go the other way. We take them off meds just like we did, Jeff, and you're going to hear his story uh, about a guy who'd been on meds for 14 years. And I told him, we're going to get you off these things in no short order, and we did, and he's doing great. So you truly believe in a lifestyle, making it well, a lifestyle change. Exactly. As people age, the hormones decline. You have to replenish those, and you have to put natural hormones back in. And because of the way people eat, we eat processed foods which lack vitamins and minerals, and that's important for our cellular energy to produce energy in our body. If you produce a lot of energy, you're going to be healthy. If you produce low levels of energy, you're going to have a host of illnesses. And I can see Jeff over there kind of shaking his head. All right, Jeff, you got to tell me your story. Let's go to when you were at your absolute worst. 22 weeks ago, I came in to see this man, and I'll tell you how that happened. He called me in and he said, Jeff, I love you, your wife loves you, your kids love you, your church loves you, your client loves you. We want, we want to see you being around here for a while longer. And if you don't do something, you're going to die a premature death. And I weighed in at 387 pounds, soaking wet, I tell people, but it was 387. <laughs> and uh, Was that like just a massive reality check for you to see that number on the scale? No, oh, I'd already had the reality check about the number because remember, as Dr. Hotsey had said, when I started on medication, I started gaining weight. When I started on the insulin, I gained 100 pounds in two years because that's a, a, an unfortunate byproduct of the insulin. And uh, so I already knew I was heavy. I didn't know I was that heavy. Uh, but uh, he said, look, I want to help you. I want to help you live. And so I said, let me go talk to my wife, which I did. And, and she said, well, sweetheart, I think Dr. Hotsey's throwing you a lifeline. And if I were you, I'd grab it, which I did. That's great advice. That's her, right. So I, I, <laughs> I told Dr. Hotsey, I called him. I said, but you know what? Let's just wait a few months till after November. And he said, I've got a better idea. Why don't you come to my office tomorrow morning, which I did. That was 22 weeks ago. I've lost over 65 pounds. Two shirt sizes, 10 pant sizes. I can wear my wedding ring now, walk three and a half miles a day. Um, I can ride a bicycle. And the most important thing is I'm off all diabetic and blood pressure medication. 22 weeks. We've got your before and after. Of course, you are still in progress. You're, you're not to your goal That's weight correct. yet. That's correct. That's correct. Tell him what your goal weight is. My goal weight's 180. See, I encourage Jeff to do a 180 and take charge of his health, and it's got a double meaning. He's going to his high school playing weight. That's phenomenal. And listen, Jeff's problem was simple. He had hypothyroidism. It's the rest of his family's nice, thin, and trim. He's got low thyroid. We got him on natural desiccated thyroid. Got him on a good vitamin and mineral program. Replenished the testosterone, which was in the gutter. And got him on a good paleo eating program. And he's taking charge of his health. And credit goes to him. He's the athlete. I'm the coach. We got him in the Health Olympics. He's going to win a gold medal. Well, I mean, it, but it's also his mindset, too. He was ready. He was ready to start moving forward and make that change. Yeah, the light, the light switch flipped on when Dr. Hotze gave me that, that line about, uh, you're going to die a premature death. He goes, I don't know when it's going to be, but it's going to be soon yeah. if you don't do something. He was, he was a train wreck waiting to happen. I, I, was, I tell people I was, I was heading, going 180, degree, 180 miles an hour towards that Mack truck, and I did my best Dukes of Hazard. I slammed on the brakes. I, I, I did the power spin, and I'm going 180 miles an hour in the other direction now. You just went Bo Duke on me, didn't you? <laughs> and listen, we got him off his, I told him we got him off the medication in seven weeks. His blood pressure was 165 over 15 on blood pressure medication. It's 120 over 70 now. His blood sugar was running 150. It's running 88 now. He's off all the medication, and anybody with type 2 diabetes can be cured of it. You don't have to go to a doctor who tells, like his, Jeff's doctor said, how long did she say you're going to be on the medicine? The rest of my life. Are you? No, sir. A lot of doctors don't know how to help people get well. They can treat their symptoms, but they don't know how to treat the cause and get them well. Well, and you're following a paleo diet and truly making that right. lifestyle change. Dr. Hutz, you have to tell me about your book. 
your latest one. Oh, well, uh, I'm writing a book right now about heart health, Dual 180, Take Charge of Your Heart Health. But we, I have two books out right now, Hormones, Health, and Happiness, and Hormone, uh, Hypothyroidism, Health, and Happiness. So I think hypothyroidism is something that you're hearing more and more. It's, it's starting to get that, that hot buzz out there. It is well, let me tell you the reason we've got hypothyroidism in America and not in Europe to the extent it's going to have fluoride in our water, and fluoride poisons the thyroid hormone within the cell. Okay, so let's talk about this paleo diet. How important is that? When people come and see you, you know, they, they're, they're following you, they're taking the vitamins, or they're doing the workout, but a lot of it's also the diet too, well, isn't it? Well, it's, it's not the diet, it's the lifestyle. You have to learn to eat healthy. And healthy eating is eating good fats. We, we promote butter. Uh, we, you can have bacon, you can have eggs. Nuts. Nuts. You can have all, um, olives, olive oil. We like that. Good fats in your body. Eat plenty of greens, good meats, and eliminate the sugar and the simple carbs, which are toxic to your cells. Jeff, quickly, how long did it take for the cravings to go away? Three to five days. Not that long. Three to five days, and then it was just all retraining habits after that. Okay, we want to make sure that folks know how to follow along and how to get in contact with you. To follow Jeff's story, visit doa180.com. And for a free copy of Dr. Hotsey's best-selling book, visit his website, hotsehwc.com. Now, you can also tune in to Dr. Hotsey's radio show weekdays at 1 p.m. on 950 a.m. KPRC. We'll be right back.